Avenatti's friend. So you're not having dinner with Nancy Pelosi inside? Is she there? She's yeah. right here. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> the police escort's in the back. Oh my god, my least favorite person. I thought Michael Avenetti was your least favorite person. Well, but he, he doesn't count much anymore, poor guy. I almost feel sorry for him. Hi, Larry. Yeah, I was just I was just you almost feel sorry for him now? <laughs> it's, I don't either, I actually. It couldn't happen to a nicer guy. It is kind of bad at this point for him. He it, When he comes in now, he avoids this is all he can. He goes out the back and everything. Yeah, I bet he does. I'm surprised he even comes in. He used to like to talk a lot. <laughs> you know what? You live by the sword, you die by the sword. There you go. You got it right. You got it right. Right. Hey, what do you hey? What do you think's behind all of these uh, package bombs? I don't know. It's so crazy. But you know what? I'm finally glad to see everybody coming out and speaking out about all this incivility. Me too. Nothing. Nothing was doing. You know what? Nancy Pelosi's in there having dinner. Nobody's screaming at her and getting in her face. Because, yeah, you're right. You know you're what? Right. It should be both sides. Should be civil. That is so true. People forget that these package bombs came to, I think, Trump Jr. and all these other people first. Oh, like a couple of weeks ago, everywhere. The Pentagon. Yeah. The Pentagon, you're right. Everybody. You're everybody. Right. And nobody spoke out about it then. You're right. That's true. You know, it, sh it should be on both sides. Right. You're right. All right. I'm, I'm glad, Bye. like you, like people are speaking out. Right. I always like your opinion. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank <laughs> you.